All right, today I'm going to show you how to make your electron cloud model for your element project. So to do this we need to have software. So I'm going to go down to the start button in the corner, click on it. There's a search function right here. I'm going to type in paint. There we go. And this is the paint program that I'm going to use. Okay, so it comes with a box. If you don't like the size of your this box, which is going to be your canvas that you're going to draw on, you can always change it. Okay, so I'm going to pick the element mercury and you can see my element block right down here so I can use that information to make my model. So I need to have a nucleus and I need to have an electron cloud. So I'm going to pick a circle here so I can make a circle and I'm just going to make it black for easy, easy drawing. There we go. So this is going to be my nucleus. Okay, And then I'm going to make a second one um, and I'll just make it the same color. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Ooh, that uh, needs to be. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. And that's going to be the outside edge of my electron cloud. All right, I'm going to label this electron cloud model. Of mercury. Okay. And you notice to do that, which you didn't exactly see, is I just started typing and it made a text box for me. But then I can go through if I want um, and I can click and highlight this and I can go through and I can change the size if I want to make it a little bigger. Okay, and it also if I want to go through and change the font, I can pick different fonts up here. But I think I'm just going to stick with that for right now. All right, so now this is what it looks like. So I've got to figure out the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons and put that all into my model. So if I look over here at my element block in the corner, I have the atomic number of 80. So I know I have 80 protons. So, so since this is going to be colorful, I'm going to pick a color, let's say green, and I'm going to put in my nucleus 80 protons. Now, we can make 80 dots. That seems like a lot of dots. So there's a simple method that we can do to show or represent that we have 80 protons without making 80 dots. So I'm just going to write right here, I'm going to put protons, and I'm going to put 80. Okay, there we go, and I'm going to put that inside the nucleus because that is part of the nucleus. Then I want to do my neutrons. So to find the neutrons, I'm going to take down here my atomic mass, I'm going to round it so that's 201 and I'm going to subtract 80 which gives me 121 neutrons. So neutrons. Okay, there we go. Good. Now the last thing I need to do is I need to go through and put my electrons. Now to do this, we break the electrons into two parts. First, we're going to have the valence electrons, which is the bottom number here. So my bottom number is two. So I'm going to pick a different color, let's say purple. And I'm going to make a circle. And I'm going to make two valence electrons. Ooh, wait a minute. I want my valence electrons to be solid, so I'm going to click here and choose a solid color. I think I have to hit this and make that purple too. There we go. Okay, so to make a solid color, you have to have both colors here the same color. And then I'm going to put a second dot right here. Okay, so now I have my two valence electrons. In addition to that, I have other electrons. So if I take the numbers going down here, I have two valence electrons, and then all the others are non-valence electrons. So if I look at that, 2 plus 78 would give me 80. So this means that I have 78 valence electrons, or non, sorry, non-valence electrons. So I'm going to make a little note in here, and I'm going to say uh, non-valence electrons, and that's going to be 78. And when I look at this math-wise, let's just check we have this right here. So my non-valence electrons are 78. I have two valence, and that equals 80, 
which is correct because it should equal the number of protons, which is 80. Okay, so the basics of my model is done. Now I'm going to go and make a key because that's the last thing that I need. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to type, well, let's first pick a color. Um, I'll just do black because it'll be easy. Okay, make them both black, one black, and type in key. And it's still purple. Black. There we go. Okay. All right, so I'm going to have a key down here. And so I want to make a little box. So I'm going to take a box and put in a little box. Ooh, but I don't like that. It's filled in. I don't want my box filled in. So I can go up to the fill and hit no fill. There we go. And now I'm going to type in what each one is and what color it has. So hit my text box button there. And I can write protons. And it's green just because I'm going to make that look the green color that it is. Okay. And we have neutrons. Notice that I'm changing the color up there to match. I think I use this color and I'm going to go blue. And then go back to the black color. There we go. Oh. There we go. Electrons. Electrons are purple. Okay, so this is my electron cloud model of Mercury. Has all the information in that require. It's got color, so pretty good to go. Now, there's the other things you can do if you have time. Oops, not that. But if you want to, let's say, color the background, you could pick a color for the background and splash it. Okay, you can color inside here if you'd like. Um, so, but this is kind of the basic look. So I can go now to File. I'm going to go to Save As. And I want to save this as a JPEG right here. Boom. Okay. So you can just, wherever you save it, make sure you know where you save it. So I would not save it on the desktop. I would find your drive in here. So like I have this drive H and that's going to be on the network. So it w I won't lose it. If you save it on the computer and use a different computer, you'll never find it again. The computers clear out from time to time. So I'm going to call this Electron Cloud Model Mercury. Okay. Notice it's JPEG. I check that. I hit Save. All right, so now my model is saved. That is how you go through and you make an Electron Cloud Model.